The world saw her smiling, but her pillow felt her tears. From pains that had been adding up over the years, she was angry and she was mad, pretending to be happy when deep down she was sad, hurting from afflictions that caused addictions to things like drugs and alcohol, gambling, shopping, clubbing, overeating, and fornication. Fornication with man after man. Men who had no plans of sticking around anyway. And even if they had, it wouldn't have lasted because her inheritance only included things like unhappy marriage, divorce, being single, or poor raising a child alone, on welfare, food stamps, and tin care. Her generational curse just made everything worse. But she was getting fed up with hiding behind all the makeup in her purse. Her life was hard. And she was bitter, full of jealousy and envy, caused by insecurities along with added situations like rape and molestation. That was the cause of her frustration. She felt like just giving up. By her parents, she had been neglected. By men, she had been rejected. Not to mention her church and work hurts. She had been used and abused, left without direction, confused. She just wanted it all to end. So when she would get by herself in a boisterous rage, she would scream out, why? And her eyes revealed the dislike she had inside and for everyone else. She couldn't disguise it with the world no more. She couldn't keep lying to herself because no matter where she went, be it work or church, no matter how much she smiled and laughed, that unhappy hurt female was on the same path. And it's impossible to go forward with all that baggage on your back, pretending to be 100% when 70% of you is just an act. Everything she ever wanted failed. Nothing seemed to go right. She was just a walking corpse who spoke death and not life. The victim was the murderer. Because committing suicide goes deeper than just slicing your wrist, taking pills, and shooting yourself in the head. But when you speak against what God said, then you kill your self-esteem and come verbally, emotionally, and mentally dead. If only she could see, she was right at the edge of a breakthrough. That girl is me. That girl is you. But it's in God's will that we be healed. And not just partially healed, but healed for real. Whole and complete. The choice is mine. It's up to me. So on today, I choose to be healed. I choose to be free. My broken bones are mending. The chains that have had me bound are bending and beginning to break. And by removing my flesh from the equation, the things I had in my past, I no longer have to take. I'm gonna think and speak my way out of poverty and pain until riches and joy become my reality. And since Jesus lives inside of me, I have all power. So from this day forward, the only thing that I choose to lose is this painful noose that's been around my neck, holding me captive in a cage called depression as I reflect on upset and regret. But victory, victory today is mine. And I'm no longer blind. Now I see that all this time it's been up to me. So on today, I choose to be healed. And I choose to be free. I choose to be healed. And I choose to be free.